a story? underneath the table with no clothes on, pecking around with the crumbs and bones. And you can imagine the majesty of the king was not too pleased to see his son in the state. He called in all the world psychologists, social workers. Nobody could help the prince. But along came a wise man. Wise man. Wise man. Every night is something else. <laughs> Along came the wise man, and he, he said to the king, Your Majesty, I can help your son, the prince. I've got to do it my way. Do it my way. So the king said, Anything, just please, please save my son. So you know what the wise man did? He too removed his clothes, went under the table, so pecking around like a turkey. Now there's two of them. And the prince said to the wise man, Who are you? And the wise man said to the prince, Who are you? And the prince said, I'm a turkey. And the wise man said, I'm also a turkey. I'm also a turkey. They pecked around for a while to make him good friends. After a while, the wise man gave a signal, and the king's men threw in two shirts. And the wise man put on his shirt. And the prince said, What are you doing? And the wise man said, What's the matter? You can get a turkey and wear a shirt. Anyway, so the prince put on his shirt. A short while later, the wise man gave a signal, and the prince and the king's man threw in two pairs of pants, and the wise man put his on, and the prince said, what are you doing? What are you doing? And the, and the wise man said, you be a turkey with your pants. Turkey with your pants. You saw a turkey with your pants. In this way, the wise man continued until until the prince was fully dressed. Then he gave a signal, and the king's men brought him some royal food. And the 
Otherwise, they're not going to eat the royal food. And the, and, the, and the prince said, what are you doing? What are you doing? The wise man said, you don't have to be a turkey in your royal food. Turkey. Yes. This way, the wise man continued with the prince until he was fully dressed, eating royal food, sitting at the royal table, surrounded by the royal entourage, the king and his men. They looked around. Look at the said, wait, wait a minute. Maybe I'm not a, a turkey. Maybe I really am. A prince. Prince. So this will be not the story. Who's it about? Guess what? All of us were all sent down from the highest heights of heaven to this lonely world. Ah, where does Shamash Israel come from? We have no concept. It's a lofty place to come down to the land of this world. We forget where we're here for, at least a little bit sometimes. And uh, start pecking around the crumbs and bones of materialism and technology. All the other Naras Naras head there is today. And we forget. So the wise men come along. They don't want to shock us too much. They say, no, you think you're you're a turkey? Okay. But just to put on a royal crown, fill it. Put on a royal robe, Talit. Light a Shabbos candle, it goes from lights up their world from one end to the other. And all of a sudden we see we're walking in the ways of Malchut, of royalty. We start to realize who we really are. We continue on walking in the ways of the Torah, we see Mamish, we're majestic. We're, we're Mamish, the king's people. And it depends on us. And slowly, slowly we start to wake up. So bless us all, it's not an easy task. The wise men out there, there's wise men out there, the wise men in here, to learn how to listen to him as well. So the main thing is along the path, the turkey stands to raise his head and say, what do you think you're doing? You think you're so holy? What do you think you are? Right. So we're gonna tell him, no, I'm, I feel it. I'm really, really connected to the king. So bless us all along the way as we start to feel and realize our majesty, our royal, our Masha Holiness. As we withstand the turkey attacks and we become Mamash, sons and daughters of the King of Kings. But the main thing along the way is not to give up. Because a lot of times we have challenges that make us think, ah, oh, come on, give up already. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you're fooling? Just never give up. This is what the Zadikim. I tell you to us, to never give up in the deepest way. Even when they say, Remember the Yiddish way, we're not going to say, I don't speak Yiddish so well. The person's up there born to a family was from. But the, in Yiddish, he said, There's no such thing as Yiddish. There's no such thing as giving up. When you think it's time to give up, you're absolutely wrong. It doesn't exist. It's, 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 it's an illusion. So this is for us to realize to always strengthen ourselves and believe in what the prophet says. We're going to see the prophecies come true. Mamish. We're going to see it's all in Eretz Israel. We're going to see our nation fulfill the beautiful, beautiful future we know is coming. We're going to see not give up on our families, our spouses, our beautiful children. You never know. And most of all, not give up on ourselves. There's so much more potential in each of us than we ever can imagine. You have to ask us something. Let me see what everything could be. So, sort of never give up. Don't let it go. 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 Don